Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Sheffield United. In today's episode we face Real Sociedad in the Europa League semi-finals. We've made it pretty far in our first season in the European competition. Just this episode, just one more to get to that final. But before we get to the games, we have had played three Premier League games in between. The first of which was a disappointing 1-1 away draw against Brentford. And to be fair, we probably should have got beaten this game. They were by far the better side. We came back into it in the last 10 minutes or so and really started pushing and adding some shots to our match stats. But Brentford played really well. We then went away to Arsenal and took the lead early on through Danny Olmo in the 19th minute. And then Luca Pellegrini got himself sent off and that was that. They ended up winning 2-1. They missed a penalty in the uh, 87th minute, but Alexander Lacazette and Joe Willock scored the goals in the second half to give them the win. And finally, just before this game against Real Sociedad was a home game against Norwich, which we won 1-0. We went down to 10 men, but it was pretty late on this time. Jean-Pierre gave us the lead just after half-time after they had missed a first-half penalty. We're not performing very well, but we did get the three points today. And this is how the Premier League table looks after those set of results. We currently sit in 6th position, 5 points behind Manchester City and only 3 points ahead of Spurs in 7th. European football might come down to what we do in the Europa League if the league form is anything to be believed. We are missing a couple of men today through injuries. Alexander Isaac and Dodo of course will miss today's game. Erling Haaland is going to start despite having a slight knock. He is our only recognised straight after Isaac being injured. Um, it's a little bit disappointing to have to go into the game like this, but what has to be done has to be done. This is going to be the lineup: Jack Butland in goal, Bella Kochap, Onjean and Tilo Kerra in the centre of defender roles. George Baldock and Luca Pellegrini as our wing-backs. Renato Sanchez and Daniel Olmo in the centre of midfield with Jean-Pierre in behind Esposito and the injured Haaland. And Sociedad come at us with a pretty typical 4-4-2 positive. So with them being at home, they're definitely going to go for this in the first leg. Marcus Alonso at left-back. Is he quite old now? 31. He's still looking decent. Um, but yeah, it looks they'll be a decent side. They're in the semi-final of the Europa League, so it doesn't matter who you come up against. They're always going to be good. But um, a 1-1 one -one draw, that would do me. First highlight post kickoff, it is Real Sociedad who've made it down the right-hand side. We get the challenge in, and that is the end of that. But we continue with Bella Kotchap taking the throw in on that right-hand side for us. Esposito ends up beating Marcus Alonso on that right-hand side. He plays the ball in. Luca Pellegrini doesn't manage to get to it and Real Sociedad clear. Kerry now driving forward from centre-back. I don't want to say that too much. Renato Sanchez finds George Baldock who beats his, He's going to go for goal, isn't he? Of course he is. And it's taken until 16 minutes to get our second highlight of the game. A decent start by us as Haaland wins the header and plays through Esposito who misses an absolute sitter. Not only was it one-on-one, -on -one, he didn't even get the shot on target. That... It's hugely disappointing. How he's only on a 6.7, I do not know. But it was a good play by Haaland to win the header after the big kick up to set him away in behind the defence. But we should find ourselves 1-0 up here as we'll continue with a 28th minute highlight. Danny Olmo driving from the midfield and going for goal. That's well wide. <laughs> Another highlight now, 35 minutes in. Danny Olmo with a free kick. Oh, it ends up falling to Real Sociedad. They haven't got any men left up defending that free kick. So... Hopefully George Bollock doesn't mess this up and he sets us away. He doesn't actually give the ball away. But thankfully Sanchez can nip in and pick out a pass. And Haaland's in behind now. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And he shoots wide as well. I mean, it's just a system. Uh, some, uh, whatever it is with our strikers. They just can't seem to score one-on-ones. And there we are, half-time. A decent first half, really. We've played pretty well, I would say. But probably could have done with getting a goal there. Um, no shots on target for us as things stand. We did have a couple, good couple of opportunities. Uh, we uh, would really like an away goal. Really would. Another highlight now. 50 minutes in. Renato Sanchez receives the ball from Bella Kochap in the defence. Jean-Pierre goes for goal. And what a fantastic strike. That is my son. His 22nd goal of the season from attack and midfield. He is by far outscoring our strikers. And that is just beautiful. Renato Sanchez with the ball finds Jean-Pierre about 30 yards out, maybe 25, and Geronimo Rulli can do nothing in the Real Sociedad goal. He puts us 1-0 up. There's our away goal. Let's just let's just go balance, please. Another highlight now. Danny Olmo with a corner this time. It is cleared by Sociedad, but the, they have kept a man up this time for a set piece, and they are pushing out quite highly, so maybe we'll be able to find a pocket of space in behind, but we're going all the way back. Bella Kochap, though, loses out to Piaka. On this left-hand side for Sociedad and they set away Teddy. He's in behind. Jack Butland's out. 
and he can score a one-on-one. -on -one. He takes it round the keeper, gets his 15th goal of the season, and levels things for Real Sociedad. A little, <laughs> a little disappointing. This is their first proper highlight of the game. Um, Piaka with a lovely through ball, and our defence was pushed that high up because Bella Kotchap was in possession and lost the ball trying to take on his man. And that has cost us quite dearly. Only 30 minutes to go. 65 minutes gone, 25 minutes to go. And there is another highlight. It's us on the attack with Pellegrini. What a ball. What a header. And what a goal by Sebastiano Esposito. His 15th goal of the season. God knows how many assists Pellegrini's got. Don't think he's got that many, to be honest. But he's done well in attacking positions. And it's a it's nice play by us from the throw in John Pierre and Danny Olmo combining, finding Pellegrini, who finds the header. And that is a beautiful header. 2-1. With only 15 minutes to go, we will look to make some changes. Ender Stevens can come on for Luca Pellegrini at the left wing back spot. We'll look to get Oliver Norwood on for Danny Olmo in the centre of midfield. He hasn't had the greatest game anyway and would like to give Norwood some game time. 12 minutes to go, Erling Haaland beats his man and he's in behind the defence. He goes for goal. What a fantastic save that is by Rully. 9 minutes to go, Real Sociedad with the free kick and Benjamin Tete gets his 16th goal of the season. His second goal of the game. And levels things for the second time for Real Sociedad. Just a simple free kick to the back post. Nobody marking Tete. He peeled off his man. Lucas Vazquez with the assist that time. 2-2. Two -two. I mean, it's not the worst result. Two away goals going into the second leg at home. It's not ideal though. We have performed better than Real Sociedad in my opinion. As there is another highlight with five minutes to go. Tilo Kerra picks the ball up from Renato Sanchez. George Baldock beats his man. He's going to go for goal. He's not, he's pulled it back. Oh, Esposito gets dispossessed. And now William Jose can bring it forward for Real Sociedad. Great challenge by Kerr. He's on a yellow card. He needs to be careful, Lucas Vazquez. This could be a really, really good opportunity for Real Sociedad. But they give the ball away itself. And there is a red card. A second yellow card for Diego Laurentiis after bringing down Erling Haaland. So they are down to 10 men. With only four minutes to go. But they're on the attack once again with Lucas Vazquez on this right hand side. He does his man. He's in behind. He goes for goal. Thankfully, it was a poor strike in the end. Five minutes of injury time to go. Doesn't look like it's going to matter. One jot. And there we are full time. Real Sociedad 2. Sheffield United 2. A decent result for us. Two away goals. Going into the second leg is not too bad. But considering they had 10 men for the last five minutes or so. You thought would have hoped we might have been able to create an opportunity. But it wasn't a be. And we'll take that good in the second leg. In the other game in the semi-final, AC Milan beat Lazio at home 1-0. A first-minute goal by Anna Rebic. Uh, seeing them with the win. Uh, I'm quite happy with our semi-final opponents. I mean, it could have been a lot worse. It could have been a bit better as well. But if we manage to get past Real Sociedad, I'm, I'm fancying these. So we've only got the one game in between the two legs this time. Away from home against Fulham. I will quickly go and play that, show you the result. And we'll get to the second leg. And there's full time against Fulham. A pretty fortuitous 1-0 away win. Kieran Freeman started at right wing back and got the goal in the 25th minute. Again, not another good performance in the Premier League. But three points. There's only two games left in the league. I think after that win, maybe we might be guaranteed uh, European football if Spurs have slipped up. The five points behind with two games to go. So it's pretty much confirmed. Oh, and now we are, it is confirmed, because we've guaranteed a top 7 finish. It is now saying that we have qualified for the Europa League for next season. So even if we fall against Real Sociedad today, we will be getting European football next season, which is ideal. You know, we're expected top half. I wanted European qualification at the very least, and we've managed to meet it. So the board will be happy, and I'm happy. So we're back for the second leg, and uh, no changes to the starting eleven. I believe George Baldock did play that game. So we'll crack on and get to the second leg. We are at home, of course. I have had to actually draft in some of the under-23s for today's game. Otherwise, we'll only field in four substitutes. Uh, yep, that's where we are right now. But they come at us again with the 4-4-2. Doesn't look like there's too many changes. Shakiri coming in on our left-hand side. But otherwise, it looks like it's a pretty similar... Um, set up with a pretty similar tactic as well, which is a little bit questionable because it didn't really work for them at home. We'll see how it works for them away. Oh, we've injured Marcus Alonso, but George Baldock has picked up a knock as well, which isn't great. We haven't really got the substitutes on the bench. To, I mean, he doesn't need to be fit. He puts in crosses like that and Luca Pellegrini gets to the back post and finishes like that. Our defender, sixth goal of the season. A nice little assist from George Baldock. A simple goal, really. 
Throw in back to Baldock, a decent cross to the back post. He beats his man's completely, he fell asleep there at right back. And we go 1 0 up 12 minutes in. 15 minutes in now, and Renato Sanchez pinches the pocket of one of the Sociedad players and he drives all the way. And what a strike that was, but what a brilliant save towards the end of it by Geronimo Rulli, keeping Real Sociedad in this game. Danny Olmo takes the corner. Looks like they're getting him rid of this one. Another highlight now, John Pierre with a free kick. He gets it to the back post, and that is counting Jerome Angin with his sixth goal from centre back for this season. Puts us 2 0 up with only two minutes to go in the first half. This is going pretty perfectly right now. We're performing well. We've got the two goals. That puts us 4-2 up on aggregate. They are not really in this game whatsoever. They will need some major changes in the second half if they are to even challenge us right now. In the other game, Lazio and Milan is still nil nil, which means Milan will be going through if things steer as they were. We'll get the latest scores up because I have got one eye on the final right now. Um, but yeah, things are going great. Danny Olmo with a corner 60 minutes in. Falls to Bella Kotchap. And is that offside? I think it probably is going to be given offside. Or is it? Come on, referee. There we are. It has been given offside. That was a great strike by Bella Kotchap. I was centre back. Uh, unfortunately, I think it hit the woodwork. And Haaland was offside with a rebound. And with only 15 minutes to go, we'll look to make the subs that we can make. We'll get Luca Pellegrini off for Ender Stevens. Oliver Norwood can come on for Danny Olmo. And I think that's going to be pretty... Oh, Luke Freeman. He can come on all over the place. Um, who are we going to take off? Who's struggling the most? Renato Sanchez. We'll get him off. We have weakened our side there for the last 15 minutes. But hopefully it won't cause too many issues with the two goal advantage that we have. With only four minutes to go, there's a highlight. Please don't let it be going. Saucy Dad's where Esposito catches the ball and beats his man. He's got a man there if he needs him. But it falls to Haaland. Oh, it's cleared by the Sociedad defence. We should be scoring that. Oh, it's went 1-0 Lazio in the other game. 2-0 Lazio. They are beating the SA Milan. And it looks like we are going to go to the Europa League final and face Lazio. We have dominated Real Sociedad in that game. That was one of the best performances we've had in a while. And as you can see there, a 93rd Chiro Immobile goal gives Lazio the win against the SA Milan. And that's who we will be looking at in the next episode end of season obviously the league is going to be wrapped up by that point it's only going to be the game against Lazio there's not really a great deal we can do we might be able to go above Manchester City if they lose both both games and we win both we might end up going up below Spurs but it doesn't really matter we've qualified for Europe we are in the Europa League final we've got a chance at Champions League boys but anyway if you have enjoyed today's video please consider leaving a like and if you're looking forward to the next episode of the Europa, Europa League final get yourself subscribed but until next time, take it easy.